Hey, it's Chris, and I have to apologize to you guys. The last time that I made a what's on my phone video, it was just me talking with no shots of the apps or the phone or anything. And you guys let me know that you really, really didn't like that. So today, we're gonna do things the right way. I figure what's most interesting is obviously what's on my home screen, but also my control center shortcuts, widgets, and what's inside a couple important folders. If you've ever seen one of my what's on my phone videos before, then you know that I kinda try to group similar apps together and put stuff that I use the most towards the bottom of the screen so it's easier to get to. So let's get started by talking about the highlights of the apps on my home screen, cause we don't need to go over every single app. So down at the dock at the very bottom of the screen, there are two really clutch apps, Drafts and Astro. I use Drafts for getting stuff out of my head, ideas for videos, things I don't wanna forget, notes, whatever. It's like a starting spot, so it's really quick. You don't have to worry about where the info ends up, you just have to get it down, and then you can send it to your notes app or your email app or wherever else from there. Actually, I use it the most with voice dictation on my watch, and then once it's in the app, I kind of figure out what I want to do with it from my iPhone. Now, real quick before we get any further, let me just mention another app that's definitely worth knowing about. Rove, it's the app that works with America's first and only 4K Ultra HD car dash cam and which lets you connect via Wi-Fi to view recent dash footage. Now Rove was cool enough to sponsor today's video and I'm glad they did because I've really had a great time testing this out. My personal favorite features here are the built-in GPS, wide angle of view, loop recording, parking mode, and motion detection, although it really does a lot more than that. And you can get 200 bucks off this amazing 4K dash cam right now by using the link down in the description. Okay, so Astro is my email app of choice. It has been for a while now. Yeah, I like the interface, but it's got a built-in AI assistant, and that's really what sets it apart. Now the next row up is all social media stuff, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and of course, YouTube Studio. It's these social spaces where I'm really the most active, so if you're not following me in any of those places, but especially on Instagram, then do me a quick favor, pause the video, go follow at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K, and then come back and finish watching because I promise some really epic stuff, seriously epic stuff, like tens of thousands of dollars worth of epicness is coming to the Instagram account. It's about to be transformed and you don't wanna miss it. Are you back? Did you do it? All right, cool, let's move on. The Apple Notes app is seriously where I store my brain. It's where I create all my content, store all my ideas, strategize, and basically just stay organized. It's not a perfect notes app, but it's where all the important stuff from drafts ends up, and it works really well across all my Apple devices. Things is my favorite to do app, but I don't use it unless I have a really important project or something with lots of moving parts that I have to track. Packages is an awesome app for tracking deliveries, and it also works on my Apple Watch, and there's nothing to say other than I really love this app. Apple News has ended up replacing Flipboard and all the other news apps for me. Again, it's not perfect, but it works well, and it services content that I'm interested in. Instapaper, I use it, it's all right. I had Pocket, but it kind of quit working on me, so. Whenever I do get the time, I like to do some reading or listen to some audiobooks, so iBooks is here on my home screen, almost more of a reminder like, hey, you need to read, more than anything else. New Bible is a Bible app, obviously, but it's weird. It's actually got some really good design, and it was made by some dudes from Twitter. Product Hunt and Uncrate, these are probably two of my favorite apps, but they're kind of like time waster apps for me. If I'm bored, I'll check in and see what's new. It's just some cool new tech and gear for guys. Now, don't make fun of me, but I do have two website shortcuts on my home screen, taking up valuable space. One is to Huckberry and one is to Axios. Huckberry is one of my all-time favorite stores. I've gotten a bunch of clothes from here, my favorite camera backpack, stuff for the house, all kinds of cool stuff. Like a couple of these 10-year hoodies, which are awesome and meant to last literally 10 years. A lot of the stuff's made in America, and if you wanna check out some of my favorite stuff, you can do that. I've curated a list at huckberry.com slash daily tech spelled daily T-E-K-K. -K. The other web shortcut is Axios, which if you're not familiar with this, it, just kind of like really concise business news. All right, so I am an Apple music lover. I used to really love Spotify, but their privacy policy became atrocious, so I switched. Apple music's not quite as good, but it's always improving, and it's definitely not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Now, whenever I can find the time, I do like to listen to podcasts, like maybe when I'm on the track, treadmill, or definitely when I'm traveling, and my app of choice for listening to those has become Pocket Casts over the years. Likewise, I've kind of ended up using 1Password for my password management. It does cost, yeah, but I like several of the features, and it imported flawlessly from Dashlane when I switched. Also, I do have Google Sheets on my homepage, which probably makes a lot of you say like, what is wrong with this guy? 
but I keep a ton of important business info there. I like to do research and I have a lot of important spreadsheets like my schedule with sponsors and all kinds of stuff. It just kind of helps me stay organized. Now here's a quick peek at my notification center shortcuts. I love the quick access to screen recording, note creation and the low power mode and the Apple TV remote for sure. The widgets I've got set up right now include Philips Hue, Things, Dark Sky, Deliveries, IFTTT, and the batteries. If I'm being honest with you, the only widget that I really end up using on a regular basis is the Hue widget, and the rest are sort of just there. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I would love to have you check out some of the stuff that I really like from Huckberry, huckberry.com slash dailytech, and show our sponsor a little bit of love by checking out the Rove 4K dash cam, again, using the links down in the description. That's it for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.